you today. I hope everything is doing well and wonderful in God's grace. Welcome to our third week. Our topic for this week is all about multiplication of higher numbers. At the end of the week, you will be able to learn how to multiply numbers up to three-digit numbers by two-digit numbers with or without regrouping. Also, you will be able to learn how to estimate the products of three to four-digit numbers by two to three-digit numbers with reasonable results. Before we proceed to our topic, let us have some trivia! What is the only number that is spelt with letters arranged in alphabetical order? Do you already have your answer, Guadans? I'm going to show you the answer at the last part of this video. Come on, let us proceed to our topic! We have a situation here. Lorenzo helps his parents in harvesting mangoes in their orchard. He put all the harvested mangoes in 12 baskets, with each basket containing 132 mangoes. How many mangoes are harvested in all? What do you think are we going to do with this situation? How are we going to answer the question, how many mangoes are harvested in all? You are on the right track, Guadans! We're going to multiply 132 by 12 for us to be able to know the total number of mangoes harvested. So how to multiply 132 by 12? First, we will do 2 times 2. That will be 4. Next. 2 times 3, that will be 6. And 2 times 1, that will be 2. So this row is the answer for 2 times 132. 1 is in the tens place value. So that will be 10 times 132. What we are going to do next is to multiply 1 times 132. And the number 1 should be aligned on the tens place value. So that will be 1 times 2, 2, 1 times 3, 3, and then 1 times 1, 1. Now we're going to add our partial products. So that will be 4, 4 plus 0, 4, 6 plus 2, 8, 2 plus 3, 5, and bring down 1. So, 132 times 12 is 1,584. Therefore, there are 1,584 mangoes harvested in all. Okay, let us have more example. 236 times 72. First, for the ones place value, 2 times 6, 12. That is 2, carry 1. 2 times 3, 6 plus 1, that is 7. 2 times 2, 4. Next, for the tens place value, another way is to put a 0 in the 1's place value. Then, proceed to multiplication. 7 times 6 is 42. So, that is 2 carry 4. 7 times 3 is 21 plus 4, that is 25. So, that is 5 carry 2. 7 times 2 is 14 plus 2, 16. And now we're going to add the partial products. So this part is 472 is 2 times 236. 16,520 is 70 times 236. Now we're going to add 2 plus 0, 2. 7 plus 2, 9. 4 plus 5 is 9, bring down 6, and bring down 1. So our answer here is 16,992. So this part is what we call the multiplicand. This part is what we call the multiplier. This part is what we call the partial product. And same with the other one, another partial product. And our answer is the final product. Let us have more example. 136 times 12. What's your answer here, Guadans? 
If your answer is 1,632, you are very brilliant, Guadans, because the answer for 136 times 12 is 1,632. Let us check. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 carry 1. 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 1, 7. Lastly, 2 times 1 is 2. Now we're going to multiply the tens place value. So we will just put zero for the ones place value. Then it will be one times six, six, one times three, three, and one times one is one. Now we're going to add the partial products. So that will be two plus zero, two. Seven plus six, 13, carry one. So that will be three, carry one. One plus two, three plus three, six. And bring down one so our answer is 1632 one more example 41 times 12 what's your answer here guadans if your answer is 492 then you are very intelligent guadans because 41 times 12 is 492 let us check 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 4 is 8 1 times 1 is 1 1 times 4 is 4. Then we will add the partial products. That will be 2 plus 0, 2. 8 plus 1, 9. And bring down 4. So our answer is 492.